Hi everyone, Trex again. Welcome to another video as requested and as promised. I'm going to share my TSM setup with you guys. And of course, it will need a little bit of explanation. Now, I already uploaded my full TSM setup to Pastebin. So if you're going to upload, you can start from the bottom to the top. And it will look something or almost the same as mine because I didn't include old mats and old patterns in the TSM group that I uploaded. Why? Because this is mainly just trash. Anything I come across uh, from leveling, I just drop it in here. And then old patterns, I just started this one. So, well, if I have more, I will, I will upload it and I will update you that it's available. Uh, so we're gonna start with Legion Professions. This one uh, has a lot of subcategories. They're also included in the upload, so you can start with Alchemy, Blacksmithing, Cooking is in there, Craft Legendaries, Enchanting, everything you want, you name it. Mostly Legion stuff, but also here you got Older Engineering with Mounts, Old Repair Bots, Companion Pets, the goggles, uh, what's this one again? Let me open it up. Prep mats. It's it's uh, engineering. I uploaded it from uh, the other pace bin, Sharian. I don't know how it's called specifically. It will be in the description on the bottom. So what you need to know, first of all, I have the operations set up for selling one stack. Legion crafting uh, multiple multiplied by five. I don't think it's fully set up yet. So you have a sales operation and a crafting operation. So first of all, all items are included, and then you got the subcategories. Why? Simple because I changed the operation five stacks, 20 stacks, and then single is uh, default. So here again, blacksmithing steel, you got the demon steel armor. Need some time to load up, laystone armor. And then miscellaneous, demon steel bar stirrups and hoof plates with a separate for demon steel bars because I sell them in five stacks. Then the relics, same for cooking. All recipes are in here and then you got the feasts plus uh, the crispy bacon to improve the duration of your buff crafted legendaries enchanting the same got rare enchants there they're separate just for convenience sake relic tome of illusions and an uncommon enchants engineering is in there this is the one I got from someone else but then uh, I did Alter it a bit for uh, the cannons, head gun, and the skull blaster. And also the pets are in here. Reese is in here. The only thing I left the way it was was actually older engineering. The otherwise I made separately. Then you got inscription. So you got dark moon decks, glyphs. Uh, when you mill something down, you get roseate and solo pigment. So I made a separate operation 20 stack, 5 stack. Prophecies, scrolls, and books. Oh, that one is not good. Has to be selling one stack. Then jewel crafting, epic gems, epic jewels, rare gems, rare jewels, and then uncommon gems, the green ones. And 5 stacks, the other ones are default 1 stack. Leather working. I only have the gear in here. I still have to put in uh, miscellaneous. But well, yeah, you, you only have to add three or four things. So basically, more than half of it is done for you. Tail ring is also what I uploaded from uh, the other phase bin. So I can tell you much about it only that it's separate for legion then established markets that's for old older uh, 
still sellable stuff like hex weave bags and then you got old world tailoring and then also some toys just a few um, yeah engineering toys are still separate I could pull them out and add them all to toys but yeah it's the way it is then you got legion materials so you got uh, operations selling for 20 stacks and then hmm, this one is wrong this one has to be deleted selling at stacks of 20 and then the only thing that is different so you got here arcana chaos crystals and laystone then hardened fell glass the different kinds of food then all the herbs then all of the gems then all of the ore all of the leather and then silk and then uh how's it called again imbued silk weave and then mutual you can see it right here i put in the filed argument runes because it's it's an easy um consumable to flip so i put it in my legion mat so i don't have to look far to get it and then you got fell hide fell worth and prefernal brimstone and then unbroken claw and tooth that put that in on a five stack all of the other ones are normally 20 stacks but this is a bit more expensive so then legion something i had for a long time goblin glider and then uh, the flasks that i sold then we got the famous muffins boe lists i originally got them from the other pacemen sherian or how's it called again <laughs> Um, but I saw that it was not updated to 7.3 yet, so I went to the original pace bin for uh, Muffin Man, is his altered name, and I went in and updated the, all three lists, so you don't have to search much further. I will provide these on my own pace bin. Then the transmog lists, we got a full transmog list. And it's also with subcategories. Then I got battle pets. Pets that are not added in the battle pet list because I, well, also got it from the Sherian phase bin. And these were not in there. And I already started this one. Then mounts. I have one mount in it so far. I'm not very uh, familiar with mount farming or crafting to sell them it's not one of my main concerns so i also didn't upload it this one so mounts old mats and old patterns and recipes are not in there removed items was also a list that i found online with all of the older items that sometimes still sell so you got a lot of stuff in there if you come across this stuff or you can craft some of this stuff you can use this group to sell them and then finally the tome of illusion materials a list from my own um, there is one no two tome of illusions I don't have because my shaman does not have rep in Pandaria so I can make one and then the other one I don't know exactly which one it is I can see for a second I can show you what I have. So it's Azeroth, Cataclysm, Draenor, Northrend, Outland, and Pandaria. I know there are two more, but I don't have them yet. If I have them, I will upload it as well. So I up, well, I exported all of this stuff, starting from Legion Professions, and I just did include subgroup structure and include operations. So. You just have to make a group if you go into groups you make a group let's say well I use zero zero for a legion profession so if I go to the auction house it will be on the top of my list like so most important one they are numbered so I can see them so I got legion professions and legion materials as the top two And then Warlords of Draenor for Legion. Let me put in. There is an auction operation, sorry, that was shopping. So if I go to auctioning, 
you can see everything in here like so here we go so you will have legion profession legion materials warlords of drainer to legion uh, stuff boes all free transmog battle pets pets mounts you won't have old match you won't have old patterns you won't have removed items you won't have that as well and then the tome of illusion ones is only a buy one so you have 75 percent db market buy <coughs> And then for a uh, battle patch, I use 50% on average. There's a little tweak there. If I go to battle pets, I have an average of global. So what I have, average, DB market, DB historical, DB region market, average. So I use this one to sell cross realm. If it is 50%, of the normal value i know i can make it then put it in a cage on another server and then sell it there where the price is higher that is how i work that is how i do it and then finally you will come up with something serious uh similar to this i've been buying a lot of a lot of wow tokens you can see here price dropping going up again dropping 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 i stockpiled my wow tokens and this week i haven't bought none so here we go again 400k this week and I'm, i haven't been online every day and not even fully active on gold farming anyway i know i got couple of auctions running or a uh, current auction value 2 million so later this week I will do the transmog run after that I will do all the materials and if I add something in the list I will update it and I will tell it in the video if it's been altered yes or no you can just come and check it out let's say once a month to be fully updated we're gonna go over uh, some old regions got that tip earlier I'm thankful for that and we will do a couple videos around it and see how it goes from there so thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed this video hope you enjoy my TSM list and I will hope that you make a lot of gold out of it so thanks for watching see you all next time and happy gold hunting